guys. This is Laurel, Laurel with the Dabbling Hook. How are you? Hope you guys are doing well. I've got, shh, I got wine tea. Ah, don't tell the minions. Um, how are you guys doing? I asked that, didn't I? I am home for almost two weeks. I feel like I'm on vacation almost, <laughs> but I'm not because you know there's work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it is currently snowing. Our second snowstorm in about a week. And uh, last one, I was in Boston at my home. Um, the minions had to shovel through about 14 inches of snow, but in Boston, thank the Lord, it changed to rain about halfway through, so there wasn't as much. But what there was, it was heavy and slushy and quite the workout to shovel. And thankfully, the neighbor did a lot of the sidewalk, so I didn't have to do a whole lot. But now it's snowing again, and we're going to get, I think, another eight inches, they said, when it's all said and done. So um, the cars are now thoroughly covered, so it's going to be one of those. But I've got wine tea. So all's good right now. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I always forget to do that and it's not intentional. I just I just have that kind of brain. Um, whenever I'm with, whenever I go somewhere with Father Minion, I always forget to introduce him. I just start yammering, you know, with people right away. So <sighs> anyway, it's a fault I'm working on. But hopefully um, I was able to delete stuff off my phone enough I hope to give me space to do a 20 minute video hopefully um, it doesn't give me any warning so hopefully I won't have to re-record everything because it just shuts off and it doesn't save what I've recorded um, so let's get going I got a bunch of stuff all over because I fell down the rabbit hole like far down the rabbit hole. I'm not sorry about it, but yep. So I got a knitting machine and I don't know who it was that finally pushed me over the edge, but one, one of the people, um, well, there are a few things, but I was watching the drunk knit knitter and she did a review and I was going to get the centro, but I just wasn't sure. Cause I never wanted a knitting machine. It's a whole other story. Um, Sorry, I'm all itchy because it's cold and I'm trying to warm up and I've got layers and layers and layers of all kinds of stuff on. Um, I was going to get the Centro, but I didn't know if I really wanted a knitting machine. And the Drunk Knitter did a, a review on, I think she did the Centro, the Jammit, and there was there might have been something else. Um, the, lo the lower rated ones on Amazon versus the higher rated ones, not in the Addy sphere. Um... So I ended up getting the Jammit, and um, it's working out. My main reason for getting it, or finally taking the plunge, was to work through my stash. I mean, it's it's a lot, and it needs to be dwindled. Plus, I have the cubbies, and I have an idea of what I want in the cubbies, like storage, not just yarn, that kind of stuff. And it's never happening because, you know, two hands, got a lot going on, <laughs> so there's just not time to do that so I got it now I never wanted it because what my brother always pushed me he goes why don't you just get a get one of those knitting machines and I was hesitant because in the beginning I thought oh that's not real neat knitting that was just in the beginning I got over that quick and then every time he saw me knitting or crocheting he's like why don't you just get one of those machines and I didn't want to do it because that's not um, <laughs> um, I wasn't that uh, experienced in knitting not that I'm all that experienced but um, I wanted to do it you know the, the old fashioned way well again the stash needs to go down so this is going to help that's that's the main reason I decided to, to get it just to stash down hopefully and you know two hands you can only do so much so this will help me speed through it. Now, mind you, it's not, you know, a one undone um, instant thing. In a way, it is an instant gratification, but the arm workout you get, oh my God. I know people have those um, attachments that you can have at the drill type attachments that you can use. 
um, I'm not comfortable enough with it to, to do that. So we're cranking and my arm is starting to feel, feel it. So, um, so I have it and I have a lot of things that I've made <laughs> with it. And a few people have taken the plunge. Um, Marsha, hey Marsha. <laughs> Marsha of um, Made by Mom. Um, and Pam of Pam's Crochet Corner. She just got hers and she's she's cranking away, let me tell you. Like Marsha got it and like maybe within an hour she had like cranked out a couple of hats already and Pam is on her way too. And Leo, if you're watching, go ahead, get it. <laughs> Join the fun. Um, so before I show all the stuff I've done on the Addy right now, hats and headbands are my thing right now. Um, let's see what else I've done. So. Um, I know a bunch of people have supported Crystal of um, Chronically Crocheting. She put out her first written pattern, and you might hear life noises, you know, the usual. So it's an amigurumi, so of course I went and I bought it. And I did Mr. Purrs a lot. Now she has the big eyes, and she has the little, um, what would that be called? The little blush mark or whatever underneath the eye or the color. So I don't have the big eyes, but I do have a bunch of these I've had for a while. So I figured, why not? It's different. And of course, we got latte'd. The ears, the whiskers, or the, the nose, and uh, the tail, latte. This is, um, pretty sure this is, yeah, Craft Smart. Uh, is that the one by Michaels? It's the, the Michaels one in Tweed. Um, and latte, and then this is uh, with love in hot pink or something like that. But yeah. So he's done. And then what else did I do? Notes. Um, I'm going to do finish whips first before that. So last time I showed, where is it? I was working on shawls. I had the, it was a knitted triangle shawl. I forget what it's called. Sierra? Something like that? I'll put it down below. I haven't done anything on that since. I think maybe I put like two rows on it. But the other thing I was working on that I didn't have with me at the time is, oops, cords everywhere. The Lina shawl. And basically it's another boomerang shawl. Um, they're all very similar, but I wanted something easy. I love garter squish. I, I mean, I love the, the smoothness and the polishness of the stockinette, but garter stick. It's just, it's so squishy, and after you wash it, it just plumps up, and it's just so much nicer. So, since this is just knitting back and forth, knitting, knitting, I um, decided just to add a little interest, and I added, if you can see it, I just decided to throw in some eyelets. And there's no rhyme or reason, just whenever I feel like adding them in, I'm going to add them in. So yeah, so far I have just two, two rows of violets. And I am using uh, Karen Cakes and doo -doo -doo, Cherry Chip. So that's the bottom, you can see all the colors in the bottom. I've had, this was I think the first Karen Cake I bought, I think, pretty sure. And I started like a few projects with it and pulled it back. And when I started this, there was a project I had started that I had tucked into it that I had to pull out. So now it's going to be a line of shawl. Oh, and the cord. <sighs> I'm thinking maybe I might destash these. I haven't decided yet. These are um, the Knit Picks needles. Nothing wrong really with the needles, but freaking cord. The cord is just, uh, the cord drives me absolutely batty. So I have the full set and then I bought the biggest one, which I think is a 17 separately. And I bought extra cords and everything and they're just there, but it's, oof. or maybe it's just a longer cord. The 16 millimeter is um, not so bad, but anyway, there's that. The other green shawl, I, like I said, I haven't really put any work on it. And the other one that's been sitting here since, I think, July when the, the Cal started, it was a Cal 
with um, Reggie of J Hook Crochet and I forget who else it was. I forget. But I just I decided to start it not to really be part of this the cal really, but I like the shawl and I wanted to make the shawl. But the thing with this shawl is it's just charts, so you have to know how to read charts. Um, and it's different with every row so far that I'm doing. I think there are different sections to it, and I don't know if the sections are re I think the sections are repeats of previous ones, but the section I'm on now, every row is different, and you have to pay attention. So, but I decided to do it in my favorite mandala ombre, which is happy. And it completely matches my bag, <laughs> which I love. I have a little bit of this fabric that I got again. It was out of stock for a while, but I haven't been able to sew in months. So, <laughs> um, but I have some of this that I, I need to sew this. And then I bought another one that's similar, but you know, slightly different design, I think. But one of these days, but yeah. So I added, I think, four rows of it in the last week or so. I'm determined to get it done. One, because it's, you know, I love the colorway, matches everything, but my uh, attention span has just not been there. So and I need to speed up before I lose, uh, I lose anything. You know what I'm gonna do, just to be safe? I'm going to stop and um, upload this and then delete it off my phone just so I have space and I'll be back okay now I'm back and the heat's kicked in finally ouch and I had to warm up my tea and now I'm hot and it's a good thing I stopped because my phone is about to die okay where were we I don't know where I stopped so oh I was talking whips so that was my line of shawl um, and I think that's it for active whips that I have right now. So let's get into finished objects, more finished objects. So last time I showed you the uh, hat I was knitting out of that yarn that I won from um, Shirley of Jammin' with Yarn. And I had chosen yarn from um, I'm Fully Spun and I finished it. I love it, love the colors, love the specs in there of colors. Doesn't show up quite as great, but there are oranges and teals or turquoise and just, it's like little surprises that you get. And I said that I had done this on a smaller needle than I thought. I thought I was using a 3.75 and it was a 3.25. I don't know how I missed that, but it still stretches enough, it gets on my head. It looks like a hot air balloon, but it's enough of a brim to turn over like this. And I've been wearing the heck out of this, but yeah, that's done and I'm happy with that. And cause I didn't wanna waste the yarn at all, any of it, I was able to get an octo out of the leftover. And I literally had like this much yarn left, so yeah. Those two are done. I may have shown these at one point, but this is the crochet um, headband that I did with the, you know, the twist that everyone's doing. This was the last one I did. And this was some, um, um, I think Karen Cake's Baby. I think this was one, I may have one cake left of that, or this might have been the last one, but there's that. And I couldn't find, I tried going back on my last video to see if I'd shown this and I couldn't pinpoint where I did because I didn't want to watch the whole video over. But this was a kit that I was gifted by Miss Pam, of Pam's Crochet and Knit. And it's from the Knitting Tree. It was for Rhinebeck West 2020. And it was part of a kit, so I don't think it's available. I'm pretty sure it's not available. I went looking, I couldn't find it. But she was able to get me the kit but she didn't have to, but I appreciated. So it's definitely not a hat for warmth. It's a decorative hat. It's got, um, it's one of the fur yarns. This one is Soda Alpine. 
and it tells you to use it for the pom-pom which I would not recommend I wouldn't do that again it does shed a lot and then it says use both the yarns to make the pom-pom but I don't like how this one the the main hat yarn I don't like how it looks when you cut it for the pom-pom I wouldn't do that again for either one I would just throw a full full fur pom-pom on there but it feels lovely it's very light it's a very light hat so more for decorative purposes and after making the hat and the pom-pom this is what I have of both left over so I gotta figure something out to do with that it will probably be an amigurumi of some sort so there's that um what else that's that for makes so speaking of um oh I what I was wearing was the cow, cowl I made for Seta's cow and I started writing it up I just haven't had the mind space or the time to finish doing that but it's in process it's very easy but it needs a nice drapey kind of yarn um, latte cakes that I used um, or uh, boutique unforgettable something that will just puddle and pool in your hands So that's that. And now, I think that's everything else that I've done. Let's see. Yep, I think so. So, the jam it, the knitting machine. So when I got it, it came with, mine came with some yarn in there. It's, I call gross yarn. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone likes, um, oh shoot, it was in my mind the whole time. It's a yarn by, um, I think, is it Loops and Threads, or is it a Karen yarn? Karen Kindness, that's what it is. It's a polyester yarn, and I don't like the feel of it. I had one skein that I bought, I think, on Clarence, and I used it for a hat when I was doing my Anastasia hat in the beginning, and it came out very heavy, and it has a slick, slippery feel to it, and that's what this is. So this yarn that came with it, um, these are all different yarns, the purple, the pink, the, the gray, and then there's this as well. So they sent uh, four different weights. This was a, um, I'm assuming they meant this as a super bulky, um, but it's a heavy bulky yarn. Then the five would have been, I guess, the bulky. The pink was the worsted, and then this is more like a DK weight. They're all gross to me. <laughs> they feel gross but I used it as a sample to start so this was the thickest one so I doubled the gray and the pink to try to get the same weight it was still a little thinner so I guess this was super bulky and then when I ran out of the pink it was just the gray for a little while and then I did this um, tan color hair which is just hanging and one of the issues I had was I kept dropping loops and so the thicker yarn maybe I could see but I didn't really drop any in the thicker area it's when I'm having issues with worsted weight yarns um, in the machine there are a lot of places where you know there's another one that dropped and it's not the whole thing isn't dropping off the needle it's just doesn't seem to catch a loop um, going around and yeah it's frustrating as hell because the only way to avoid that for me I found is to put it in the, the tightest tension but what that does it makes the machine work you have to work harder to crank it to get around now Karen simply soft it just it glides like butter like um, Kim said of something she's uh, she's working on with oh, loops and threads will like doubled she said it just glides like butter, and I find Karen Simply Soft. After working with the worsted weight or any other weight that takes a, a lot of effort, it just it just just spun right through. So I've been using that and going through my stash of Karen Simply Soft, but that is my biggest issue is the, the loops. And I tried fixing the first time. That didn't work. I'll put in a picture of when I tried to fix it, and I think I must have caught the wrong loops when I, when I um, fixed the drop stitches, and it just didn't work out. I've had to restart speaking of 
Now, yeah, so that yarn I find just, just gross. I don't like the feel in my hand. It's very heavy. It just reminds me of Karen's kindness. But this is, um, that's a Craft Smart yarn. Hang on one second. So I have a full one. It's the Jacquard one, and it is a colorway rainbow. <laughs> but this is the one. I love it. When I saw it, I just love the colors and the combination and everything. And I tried working it up in the machine, and it was just dropping that loop over and over and over, and it was just frustrating me. So I just took it off, and I didn't even bother unwind, um, unraveling it. I just rolled it up and chucked it off to the side. So I got to go back and try that again on the tightest tension and see if that works any better, but it does take longer to go around. So there's that. So then my first completed one that actually worked before that uh, jacquard was a skein of um, Joanne Sincerely when they had the speckled colorway. Um, I had a few colorways. I actually have a hat, the Ricky hat that I did. I think it was with this colorway that I have somewhere. Um, but yeah, so this was the first one I did. I don't remember how many rows or rounds I did. I'm pretty sure it was like 100 and I think 150 is what I'm doing, which, you know, it's too, well, actually, when you put it on, it's just a, it makes you a big slouchy. But then you can roll it up and have a nice substantial brim and you have a good beanie going. So I like a big brim. So that one worked. And then I got into the headbands because I've been wanting to use up my Karen Simply Soft because it's not my go-to yarn anymore. Used to be at one point, not a go-to, but uh, one I use substantially. So then I looked up the, the twisted headband because I've always loved the look of that and I've tried it in crochet and I just, I quite, it doesn't quite do it for me. Well, the way they used to do it where you would be working up um, a panel, stop halfway, keep going, and then come back, pick up the other panel, work, and then cross them and keep going. Didn't quite work out for me, so I've always loved the, the knitted look. So I've gone a little headband crazy right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them right now. And that's because that's the yarn I had with me when I was at my parents, so. I had one skein of um, Karen Simply Soft Party in black. I don't remember how many rows, how many rounds this was. I want to say 140, maybe 140 something. So it would stretch for an average head. I've got a big noggin, but look at the sparkle. Yep. So yeah, there's that one. And then I have two of this Karen Simply Soft, I don't remember what it's called, amethyst or purple or whatever grape, but I got, you can get two headbands out of, um, I think I do between 75 and 80 rows or rounds for the headband. I think this was 75 and then I wanted to use up as much so I did 85 for this one, so that's a little looser. Um, So I have, you get two and still have a little bit left over um, to make like a size ball like that of leftover. So two out of one Karen Simply Soft. And then I have this colorway I've had forever. It's like this deep fall red. It's a little blown out on, on screen, but it's deeper folly color. So yeah, I have same thing. I think I did the 70, 75 for this one. And maybe 80, 85 for this one. I'm really bad at um, remembering to click the, the counter and counter and also, um, what was I trying to say? Or keep track of where, where it is basically when I'm, when I'm working it up because I just get into it and before I know it, I'm like, oh, I forgot the counter, so I estimate. And then this was the leftover from when I did Mr. Purse a lot. So this is another one I had to put on the, the tightest tension and it took a while. And of course it's Tweety Flex. When I was working it up, most of the, the Tweety bits are on, are on the inside, on the garter stitch side of it, but this still looks nice. 
the ones on the Garda side stick out a little more, so I guess it's a good thing that it's it's like this on this side. But yeah, nice and thick now. These are more, I guess, called head wraps because they're so wide. That's one of the reasons I want to get the, the smaller one. Um, that and to do baby hats for donations because I have a plastic shopping bag about three quarters of the way full of hats that I've, but it's taken me like a year and a half to do that because I haven't been consistent. But if I can get the smaller one, then I can crank out. So that's the headband. I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I held out for a long time, but now it's going to help me. I can already see space in my stash, which is just well worth it. Every penny of it. Now, they're not cheap. I mean, the Addies is up there, and that's pretty pricey. And, you know, everyone knows it's sold out everywhere. Um, I think the earliest it might be March when places are going to restock on them. And if you do find it somewhere, they've jacked up the prices like crazy. So, no thank you. But I'm thinking I might get the smaller one as an Addy just to test it out to see. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Knowing me and my frugal ways, I'll probably not, but who knows? I might have a moment and do it. So then, you know, hats. I'll have to put in two pictures. I made a hat that I gave to my dad, and um, Minion One asked for a hat in black and red. I'll have to put a picture of that as well. So he has that, my dad has his in Boston, and I feel like I'm missing a couple. I'm definitely missing a couple. No, that first one I showed that I did, and then the next one I did, so I had said that the Dollar Trees near me don't have yarn, but the ones when I was in Boston, one of them did. And from the first time I found it, it was pretty well stacked. Now half of that yarn is gone already. Um, they have the Crafter's Choice, I think, is, is that their brand? They have those. Those remind me of... Um, impeccable that the texture of it impeccable it's not as soft now the just yarn from premiere feels nice and soft in the skein but i find that when it works up it's not as soft as it feels in the skein i don't know it just not all of them so this is the yellow and again you know the dye different dyes i think does something different to the fiber even in acrylic like red heart some of the variegated or the the more um, color yarns they're not as soft as like the plain like the the heather gray and red heart i think is one of their softest ones um but anyway this is from um this is white i think it's called snow and goldenrod in the just yarn and this is where i joined the two colors i didn't do such a great job but no one really noticed so it's, so it looks it's more of the goldenrod on one side, and then the other side, I did a little less of the snow. So if it's this way, and you cuff it, you get a white and gold. And then if you flip it the other way, flip it, you can either do all gold, or you can do a bigger brim and get the white. I like that. I like when it's not, you know, half and half that you can do different, you have more options when it's not. And then I had a black in the Just Yarn. Now the black does feel as soft as it did in the skein worked up, but the white and the gold definitely feel a little rougher. So I did the black, the rest of the white is here, and then I had some Karen Simply Soft Party. I used that as well. So when you bring it down, it looks like that with a little of the sparkle here. When you flip it inside, it's basically all black with the sparkle. So one way you can get black, white, and a little sparkle on the edge, or black sparkle with, depends on how high you go with the cuff, how much white you get. I like this option. You have like, what, three, four ways rather than just the two, I guess, of doing it. So that's that. Now, for the ones I like best, I will keep and put in inventory or if we ever do craft fairs again, 
and do some faux fur pom-poms and put it on. Now, I've also heard people talk about the TikTok hat, and I looked it up, and different things came up, but I guess one of the things is Red Heart Super Saver, the, the stripes, it's a big thing. So, of course, you know, to jump on that bandwagon. I did, this is 160 rows, and it's just, it's like a stocking. It's long. I just wanted to use the whole skein. I bought three of these, and then I bought one of two or three other colors, one of each of those. But I like the neon, so I need to find different neon yarns. I know Jennifer Cinnamon Stitches had shown some on her um, on her video, and one of them I think I looked at, I don't know if it was, was it from Hershner's or Premier? It's a little too pricey for me. I'm going to wait to see if they have a sale. But it's just, it's such a happy color, you know? You get black with a little bit of color here, but not as much. Like this would be way too long for a slouchy. And then the other way, it's this, but you lose, when you cuff it, you lose a lot of the other colors. So it just becomes just really just the neons. So yeah, I gotta work on the way I start. And I got a little black showing. There's a video I will put, hopefully if I remember down below, of the way she does her her gathering at the top. She doesn't just cinch the two and then tie them. That's an option too, but I kind of like her way. It takes a little longer, but I kind of like her way. I think it's Angie and Britt is the channel, but I'll put it below. Yeah. So that's it for, for the makes. Um, I haven't done, it is, what time is it? It's 4.09. And I haven't done anything. Um, I got home last night and I crashed. <laughs> and I slept, well, I slept till like 8 and then I stayed in bed till like 11. So, yeah, it was needed. And now it's snowing and all I wanted to do is go back to bed, but nah, it hasn't happened. All right, what else? The only other thing, um, acquisitions. I did. I did, I did, I did. Well, acquisitions, because I went to get Red Heart, because I wanted these um, neon colors to make the hats. Um, and these are selling, I know, on Etsy from like 20 to $25 um, with the pom-pom, so. Um, one thing is not, um, you're going to hear, Minion One has to go to work and is a lot of snow to be removed from his car before he goes, and he is notoriously late for everything. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway, so I want to do a sweater. Don't know if it's going to happen this year. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it knit or crochet. I'm waffling between the two back and forth. But I'm hoping this will be enough. But these are all the number five bulky from the Nipix, um what is it? Wool of the Andes bulky that I bought ages ago and I've dyed over the over last couple years. So I found them all. Put them in here. This one was when I was using Kool-Aid. I don't think this is Wool of the um, Wool of the Andes. This was something else, but it's the same weight. I think this was from when I was in the club from um, a, a dyeing club that used to come monthly. And I took the yarn and I just used Kool-Aid, really saturated Kool-Aid to do this. And this is one of them too. But basically this is all my number five bulky that I wanna use. And I think I should have enough for a sweater and I just wanna throw all the colors in there. Can you hear hearing basement doors open? All right, um, so acquisition. So last time I said I was waiting for um, yarn that I had gone and bought on a whim because I saw the color and I'm like Ugh. so it came and I had a momentary bit of disappointment partly my fault partly the picture was a bit misleading but again it's buyer beware and buyer read <laughs> what it says on the um, on the website kind of what Priscilla just had hey Priscilla um, with the, the book she just bought where she saw the picture and that's what she wanted but the text said something different. So um, 
Naima Bond. Still love her yarn, still gorgeous colors. But the picture on Instagram, definitely, it's called Fireworks at Midnight. So midnight, black, dark, and the picture on Instagram definitely portrayed that. And I was so excited when it came because I was away and then I came home for like three days before I had to go back and it was here. And I opened it and I was like, you know, when you just deflate, aw, aw. I'm like, what? The color part was still there, but the black part was definitely not black. It was gray. It's definitely gray. So I messaged her and said, you know, love the yarn, love the colors, it's beautiful, but just curious, is it supposed to be black or gray? And she said it's black-ish. And the description does say uh, purplish gray or purplish black kind of color. So don't go just by the pictures, which me, color grabs me and that's, I, I reacted. So, but having said that, it's great. I will live with it because there's color. I mean, I mean, it's a little blown out, but it's still, it's just saturation city. Oh, look at that. I mean, right here, oh, right here, look at that. Or right here. I mean, look at this, the neon part. Oh. That light's fading, by the way. It's just... I wish this was darker black, but this is her her card. It's called Fireworks at Midnight, and if you do, well, this I think was a special because it's not listed on her site anymore, and I caught it when she had the pre-order. Oh my god, look at that. That just makes me so happy. It does, just, ah, uh, just makes me so happy. You just, I don't even want to work with it. Now, the other thing I find sometimes is disappointing, nothing to do with the yarn and the dyes or whatever, but you get pulled in by the, the hank and how it looks in the hank. And then you skein it up or you cake it up and it looks completely different. And I don't know what that's going to look like, but still, I'm going to enjoy this for a while. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the other thing I did, I had shown, um, what do you call it? I had shown um, Lion Brand had a sale on their their LB collection yarn. So this is Anya that I had bought before, and I bought a bit of it before. And then they had the 40% off sale again, so I jumped on it, which I didn't need to. But I bought I had bought two of this um, colorway. This is I forget what this is. Oh my god, it's so tiny. I'm getting so old. Holy cow. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you. Fuchsia something. Fuchsia something. <laughs> it's tiny print. See? It's really, really tiny print. Yeah, it doesn't even come up. It's like right above the barcode, and if you could see how tiny that is on the barcode. Now this, I know, is Mango Tango. And it's almost the same as the Fuchsia, but it's got that on the edge, which can totally blend with that, except this is worsted. And this is supposed to be, look, so, this is worsted, and this is worsted, and it's just, I mean, thin. So much thinner than that. This is more like a DK worsted. So there's that, and I also got, these were new, this is, I didn't have this before, and this was Gypsy Spirit. Not really my thing, but I like the teal, and right here, oh, Gypsy Spirit. And I think I got two of those, and then I got two of, I wasn't sure about this one, and this is Trick or Treat. I wasn't sure how orange it was going to be, but it's more like a golden orange. So, yeah, I have two of those. Is that all I got? Oh, and I got one more. I had bought this before, which was Rose Tattoo. It's just grays and pinks and 
yeah, that's about it here. Maybe a little brighter on screen, but yeah. So me not having time and buying a machine to stash down, but to stash down on my acrylics, and no, I'm not bashing acrylics, far from it, because you know, we will still do that, especially when there's a clearance. But I just have, I have a lot, a lot. And my cubbies are too back, are too deep. And my cakes are two skeins deep. Everything is two skeins deep, so it's a lot. And if it's that deep, and the stuff in the back's been there a while, so I need to go through that. And what better way than to crank these out and have them as inventory. And then I can slowly explore ugh, this goodness. And what this is also doing is helping me, um, even though it says worsted, it's definitely like a three size, maybe even a two, but it's a three size. And it will help me get more comfortable with that. And it's just so pretty and it's just so colorful and it's what's making me happy right now and I need happy right now. So there is that. Ooh, and I'm feeling a draft on my back. So that means it's time to go before my phone cuts off. Um, go warm up my wine tea. And I have a few projects saved. I just have to decide which way I'm going to go and which one I'm going to make. And I have to stick to it because this... Um, Sis love cow. It's like my my usual brain is fighting to just put it away, but I'm refusing. I'm fighting through it because I want it. I want the colors. And this is something that our our cold will last few years. Like our cold weather lasts like well into June, the last few years. So if I make it, I'll have ample opportunity to wear it. You know, because you can throw it over your shoulders when it's a little chilly out. You know, without having to completely bundle up. So that's what I need. And it's bright and colorful. And it's just, I mean, come on. So I'm pretty sure there's something I've forgotten. Um, oh, I did. I did real quick. I got a couple of Valentine's Day cards. And I don't send out cards. Other than Christmas cards, I don't send out cards. I'm just bad. I'm bad at it. And things are falling. Because you, can you guess who it's from? Things are falling out of the card. I got a Valentine's Day card from... Crystal of Chronically Crochet, Mr. Perzolat Mom, and then of course I'm not even going to open it because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I got one from Marsha. Marsha who jumped down that rabbit hole. How many of you have done? Because the last time I saw I think you were at three or four. Was it? So you gotta let me know how many have you made so far. And anyone who's cranking like him Crafty Nomad, anyone else, Randy, like what do you guys do for the tension? Because the worsted, the worsted weight, I don't want to have to put it through the the tightest gauge because then it just takes so much more to, to crank through. But when I don't, I get the drop loops all the time. So <sighs> I don't want to just stick to Karen Simply Soft because I think I just want to make those for the headbands because it's nice and soft and supple for a headband. So. I really like that. And it's doubled so it'll be warm. And they have nice colors. I've been looking for the neonish colors that they've had and it's nowhere to be found. So, all right. Um, I may be able to squeeze out an episode next week because I'm home for more than a week this time. <laughs> so, we shall see. Now I gotta go splice this together. It's gonna be a little long one again. Um, if I forget, and I maybe, I think in the beginning I didn't complete saying it. Um, thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming if this is your first time. Um, I know I'm in and out, but I appreciate you guys who come back and watch. I really do. Um, I am watching you guys. Uh, I don't always comment because what I found that's easier to do now with my situation is just start a queue and I have like 50 things in a queue and I just let them play. So I don't always have a chance to stop and um, comment, but I am watching and I am liking. So. Thank you for keeping me company. I will talk to you guys hopefully next week before I have to go back. All right? Bye, guys.